Well, here we are. It's 2016, and you're not seeing things. That's the juice. JT Dunn making his debut in Chaotic Wrestling. Absolutely. Pro wrestling savior, the juice JT Dunn. A young man that I am very high on and have been for several years has finally made it here into Chaotic Wrestling, getting a nice ovation from the fans. They know who this youngster is, but he is in there with the firebrand, Brian Fury. And I said, uh, I was telling the fans earlier, this was gonna be a new year, a big year. We're gonna see some new faces here in Chaotic Wrestling. This is one of them right here. Very first, first time for JT Dunn very, here in a Chaotic Wrestling ring. Very exciting, Rich, and I can't wait to see what JT Dunn pulls out for the Chaotic Wrestling fans here in Woburn and down the road. And let's not forget, JT Dunn was gonna get a shot at Chase Domani and the Chaotic Wrestling Heavyweight title. However, that sprained neck has put Chase on the on the shelf, unable to compete here tonight in Chaotic Wrestling Management, and Fury has sent Mastone back to the locker room. Very, very unlike the Firebrand, sending his students or student Rick Mastone to the back, and the bell rings, and we are about to start what should be a great contest. JT Dunn and Brian Fury. Now, I don't know if Fury has sent Mastone to the back because he's not overly concerned with JT Dunn. I'm not sure if... Well, he should be. He just wants to do this on his own, you know, with the momentum that Mastone has had. But Fury and Dunn are gonna lock horns here tonight in Woburn. You see Dunn with that right elbow pad. He loves to knock people out with that elbow. Will he get the opportunity to do it to Brian Fury here tonight? We'll soon find out. Clean break by Brian Fury. Saw a great interview that JT Dunn sent. It was on chaoticwrestling.com and on Facebook about this match. And he knows that Brian Fury is the man in New England. He's the man to beat. He is the king of New England, if you will. No disrespect to King Ely, of course. And JT Dunn's gonna make this a match that Brian Fury will never forget. Yeah, JT Dunn wants to be the man, and obviously, like, the great Ric Flair has said before, to be the man, you have to be the man, and Brian Fury certainly is the man. And uh, Brian Fury has endorsed JT Dunn, said that he's got the talent, he's got the passion, but can he beat Brian Fury? That's gonna be the, the task at hand here tonight. Will we see JT Dunn in the Chaotic Wrestling ring again? Who knows? Leg trip by Dunn. Dunn working the left leg of Fury, trying to keep the action on the mat. Some nice grappling going on here early on in the match. Dunn not intimidated one bit. These two actually have done battle before. I do want to make that clear. Elsewhere throughout the independent scene, JT Dunn and Brian Fury have battled a couple of times. Fury's got the upper hand on JT Dunn. Dunn looking to reverse that. And uh, like I said, I've known JT for some time. He's been wanting to be here in Chaotic Wrestling. He was disappointed that he couldn't get that shot at the heavyweight title, but he seemed very, very happy, almost even more ecstatic to get a shot at Brian Fury. I think he's got something to prove, and we're gonna see if he can do it here tonight. JT is controlling the arm. One step ahead of Brian Fury. Firebrand, the head trainer at the New England Pro Wrestling Academy, has held every championship there is to hold. Not just here in Chaotic, but uh, throughout the country. Actually, just last weekend, competing in the Ring of Honor Top Prospects Tournament for 2016, where he emerged victorious. Back to the arm, head scissors by Fury. Wow, great chain wrestling. Great scientific match, I should say, between these two great athletes here tonight in Woburn, Massachusetts. JT Dunn, though, seems to be getting the upper hand here early on. He's been scouting Fury, and uh, these two have been on several events together. Like I said, only twice have they done battle one-on-one. -on -one. But these men know each other, they've scouted each other for some time. Look how frustrated Brian Fury is right now. And you see, Trying to, sorry. No, it's all right. You see Dunn always in that defensive position. That elbow 
He is uh, one half of the tag team death by elbow with Chris Hero. And uh, he loves to use that elbow, but look what Brian Fury's doing right now. Controlling the other arm right in the center of the ring. He might rip that shoulder right out of its socket. He might break the wrist as well. Brian Fury is a dangerous man. Can't take him too lightly. This is the uh, kind of thing I like to see, some good, good scientific wrestling here. Brian Fury, obviously the veteran, rolled up, count of one. JT rolls over and puts Brian Fury in a front chancery. Now a cravat, takes him over. Leapfrog done, right back into the arm drag. Whoa! Oh, wow! Got the shoulders pinned for two. Whoa, JT Dunn wow. doing a little mocking of his own of Brian Fury. Jeez, look, you can see the frustration in Brian Fury right now. JT Dunn has got inside the head of Brian Fury, and that does not happen very often. Either in or out of the ring, I'll have you know. Very, very impressed by JT Dunn early on in this match. Fury now walking it off outside the ring, biding his time. Oh, he just rolled in just to break referee Kevin Quinn's count. I think you're right, Fury is uh, very frustrated. Just taking advantage of the referee's count. Having words with the fans at ringside. The firebrand, Brian Fury. Now making his way back into the ring. All right, here we go once again. Collar elbow tie up. Fury now, got one of the arms hooked under the bottom rope. Shot to the midsection, another one Whoa. going to the face. I felt that. So much for scientific wrestling. Knocks JT Dunn right to the outside apron here. Oh, and an insecurity by JT Dunn. From the outside in, it's oh. unbelievable. <laughs> face plant right in the center of the ring. Count of two. I thought that was it, Rich. JT Dunn with the advantage on Brian Fury. Oh, jeez. JT Dunn just headbutted Brian Fury. He's got to be careful. He just got stitches right in that right eye after a recent altercation in a match just 10 days ago, almost two weeks ago. Just medically cleared to wrestle here tonight. We got some stiff shots on the outside. And JT, where's he going? Ooh, right into the corner. No, 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 no. Oh! And Fury just took JT Dunn out with a suplex right on the outside of the ring. Right on top of those steel support beams. That does not feel good, Rich. Not at all. He might want to, yeah, that cold tile floor probably feels pretty good on the back of JT Dunn right about now. He is definitely favoring that back. Brian Fury, the veteran, as I said earlier, one step ahead of JT Dunn. Finally getting the upper hand in this matchup against the Juice. Gotta get him back in the ring, though. And let's not uh, mistake it. It's been about three years since these two last shared a ring together. And both men have held numerous titles throughout these United States. And Brian Fury intimidating a young fan at ringside, giving JT Dunn a little bit of time to recover. Here comes the firebrand. Right back in, you see that devious smile on his face. Now Brian Fury's got things well in hand against the juice, JT Dunn. He's no longer running on JT's time. He's going on Brian Fury time, and that's taking his time. And I'll tell you, JT said it best. He said, I'm coming to your house, Brian. I'm coming to your house, chaotic wrestling. And for, 
for a bit. He was running the house. Not so much anymore. What a body slam right there. Oh, there. A little tribute to the late mofo Steve Bradley there. His trainer, yes. Down a two from referee Kevin Quinn. JT's hurt right now, and Fury just stomps right on the fingers. Chop to the chest. And Fury puts him back down. Another chop. Down goes JT Dunn. What a night of action. All singles. Man oh! Inside cradle. One, two. Not quite. Went for that KO elbow. Oh, and Brian Fury turns the corner. The new knockout kid, as he's known, set a little bit too early for that knockout blow, and he's down in the corner. Whiplash effect as he hit the buckles hard. JT Dunn is down, and Brian Fury standing tall and giving JT Dunn time to re uh, recover. So I was saying, all singles matches in the first half of this show, Two big title matches on tap. The New England Championship, Vinny Marsalia challenging Brandon Locke with his manager, Adam Barrasano. And then we've got the Logan Brothers and Team Friendship for the tag team titles. We're gonna mix in the Kingpin, Brian Malonis, who wanted Donovan Dijak, does not get Donovan Dijak tonight. Instead, he gets the kid, Christian Casanova, still to come in the second half of the show. And JT Dunn, who has had a lot of problems with that back over the past few months, just hit the buckles hard. And Fury now gonna hook that leg and go for the pin. Only gets two. Brian Fury is really putting a beating on JT Dunn right now. A beating that I haven't seen from Brian Fury in quite some time. Ooh. You could hear the, the body of JT Dunn, the flesh pounding on the floor on the way outside the ring. Not an ounce of compassion from Brian Fury. None at all. Now he's just gonna bide his time and just methodically following up on Dunn who is outside the ring down on the floor. Cannot see him from our vantage point. Nope, Dunn's back up. Not at his own will though. Nope. Fury misses the chop, moves on his own will, lays it in some chops on his own will. JT Dunn is gaining some momentum here on the outside on the firebrand, Ryan Fury. JT Dunn packs a hell of a wallet behind that 182 pounds. He missed that shot, Fury ducked and caught him. Oh! Slammed him right down on the floor, right in front of us. Unbelievable action here in Woburn, and we're just in the first half. Two of the best in professional wrestling today, Brian Fury and JT Dunn. Never thought I'd see it in a chaotic wrestling ring, but we've got it right here, folks. And they're tearing the house down. And the fans are loving every minute of the, minute of the hard-hitting action here tonight in Woburn. JT thrown back into the ring by Fury. Fury always the ring general. Sets the pace at his pace. And is controlling the action on Dunn right now. Here comes that big elbow. Vintage Brian Fury with the drop down elbow. Taking his time though surprisingly. For that pin, it could have been the three but I don't think so with the time he just took. See? Count of two, yep, absolutely. I'm smart, Rich. What can you, I say? You are the the one and only Mr. PM Pat Matthews, the man that gets the scoops here in Chaotic Wrestling. JT Dunn looks like he's hurting right now. Whoa, what a punch to the midsection. And Dunn, undaunted, fires back. Dunn looking the worst for wear right now. Throwing those chops. Big elbow, look out, another chop off the ropes, reversal. 
Plants him right in the center of the ring. Brian Fury's got JT Dunn down once again. And Fury screaming, ouch, from the chops to the chest. Oh, and just rubbing his face into the canvas. Signs of disrespect by Brian Fury. Does not like, obviously, the Jews, JT Dunn. Wants to get a victory, but you don't do it that way, Brian. And Fury is defending his house, Chaotic Wrestling's house. The Elks Lodge here in Woburn, Massachusetts, where he has won and defended numerous championships for the past several years. And he is, he'll be damned if he's gonna let Dunn emerge victorious. Oh, did you feel that one? I certainly heard it. JT down on the corner, Brian Fury just taunting the crowd. Looking at our young fans over there at ringside. Giving Dunn a chance to get back up to his feet though. So we approach 15 minutes gone in the match. Oh, look, Fury's just got him trapped in the corner. Taking that lower leg into the midsection of JT Dunn, wearing him down. Pounding away in the corner, Brian Fury choking away now. Rubbing his forearm in the eyes That's of JT it. Dunn. Now having words with referee Kevin Quinn. What a battle between these two. And JT Dunn isn't giving up. Look at him trying to pull himself up, trying to get back to his feet. Like the fighting, like the fighting man he is. And did you hear Fury? He just said, come on, take some more punishment. And he's gonna dish it out. The ruthless Brian Fury. JT Dunn, trapped in the corner, just slapped him right in the face. And JT Dunn retaliated. Neither man giving a quarter, nor taking. Fury misses the charge. Blocked by Dunn with a big forearm. Another one. Ooh. Quick drop by Brian Fury. But a quick boot of JT Dunn, and a nice Hark Rana! Wow. Oh man, series of kicks. Rolls him up. Oh, he's going for a cutter, couldn't get it. Boot caught, kicks him out of the corner. JT rolls through, beautiful! This is it! One, two, oh! I said it before, these two men are tearing the house down here at the Woburn Elks Lodge at our first event of 2016. And if the first half of this show is gonna tell the tale of what this new year holds, then we are in for a great banner year here in Chaotic Wrestling with athletes like Brian Fury, with athletes like JT Dunn, Brandon Lock, Vinny Marsalia, the Logans, Team Friendship, Travis Gordon, good night. Uh-oh. Double leg dive. Going for that branding iron, can't get it. Schoolboy roll up. Right off the ropes for a count of two. Super kick right to the face. One, two, three. No. Unbelievable for sure. I thought that was it. Wow. What a battle. Fury's down. JT checking with referee Kevin Quinn to make sure that that wasn't three. I thought it was three. Get the man some juice, he's thirsty. That's his war cry right there. He's setting up that elbow. Death by elbow. Will Fury fall victim? Slowly getting up, Ryan Fury. JT, oh! Forget about it. Clean and sober kick. Good night. And are you kidding me? Did he just kick out of the clean and sober kick? Only a count of two. Brian Fury had that knockout blow well scouted. And like you said, clean and sober kick right under the jaw, but unable to get the one, two, three. 
the resiliency of JT Dunn, the resiliency of both men in this match. Curry wants to throw Dunn back outside, catches himself and finds himself a boot to the face to Fury. Oh, he went for that face plant again. Fury caught him. Now, there it is, the branding iron. Brian Fury trying to force a submission. Will JT Dunn tap out? He just might have to. He's not close enough to the ropes to force a break. You see him trying to grab the left foot of Fury. Maybe attempting to reverse it somehow? I don't think so, though. He's got it locked in right now. Look at the arch in the midsection of JT Dunn, but wait a second. Just the torque on the midsection would be enough to force a man to submit. JT trying to turn it, trying to turn it. Can't do it. Fury's got it. No, he does. Took him the other way. Oh, the clothesline by JT Dunn. Devastating clothesline. The fans chanting juice, juice, juice. Wait a minute. Double leg dive. Is he going to go for it? Is he going to go for the branding iron? It looks like it. Dunn trying to roll him over, could not roll Fury over. Nice. JT lands on his feet. That big kick that he learned from Chris Hero again. Another one. Pop-up powerbomb. Sky high pop-up powerbomb for the win. I have never, I have never, Rich, seen somebody kick out of the pop-up powerbomb. Only two again, over 20 minutes gone in this match. A main event quality match here in the first half of the show and these fans are on their feet. They're on their feet, they're getting their money's worth and then some here tonight. JT Dunn kicks out of the clean and sober kick, lasts the branding iron and then kicks out of the pop up power bomb. What next Rich, what does Brian Fury have to do? He's gonna be looking, I think, for the flames of the firebrand, take him out right on, the, right on his head, and then force the submission. That's the only thing we haven't seen from Fury is the flames of the firebrand, that neck breaker out of the corner. Up and over, JT lands on his feet. O'Connor roll off the ropes. Fury Wait rolls, oh! Fury rolls through, but JT's got him hooked! He's got the head hooked! Trying to force a submission! Will Brian Fury tap out? He's, he's just bending the, the neck of Brian Fury back and he's over, he's got that left arm locked in. Over 20 minutes gone in the match. Fury can't breathe. Referee Kevin Quinn might have to call it. Fury, look at Fury he's, trying to. He's so close to those ropes, he Rich. He breaks it. He actually broke the leg lock. Oh, wait a minute. But JT does not relinquish the head. He just dragged him just enough a far away from the ropes. Brian Fury not as close. Oh, but that's the... Yeah, Fury's getting the knees up to the head. That's the awareness of veteran Brian Fury. Fury not going to let it happen here tonight. Like I said earlier, not in his house. Oh, another sober kick. That is going to do it right there. He might have just knocked out JT Dunn. But he's still feeling the effects of that submission, Rich. He's got to capitalize right now. Neither We might get a double count out right here inside the ring. Neither man may be able to answer that bell. And just as I say, look at Fury. And you, you know, if it was a double count out, I'd be satisfied. This match has been top notch. And what else do you expect? What's he, he's motioning for something. He's motioning for the for the curtain. He's, Calling for Brick. He just sent Brick back though before the match. I, JT's up. Fury's calling for Mass still, but Mass. JT's up. Death by elbow. One, two, he got him. I can't believe it. Unbelievable.